Because when I see somebody wearing an Apple Watch and they post it after their workout, really? You burned 1,500 calories in an hour? Exactly how inaccurate are these wristwatches? When it says you burned 1,000 calories and you are happy, did you really burn 1,000 calories? Lucky for us, a study from Stafford University asked 60 volunteers to wear seven popular wrist-based devices including Apple Watch, Fitbit Surge, Samsung Gear S2, while walking, cycling, and running, and the results were shocking. Heart rate measurement? Pretty good. Six out of seven devices had error under 5%. Calorie burns? Not good. Even the most accurate device was off by 27% on average, and the worst were off by 93%. But why are they so inaccurate? Well, because these devices uses a handful of sensors, wrist motion, heart rate to estimate calories, but hundreds of factors actually determine how many calories you burn. Body weight, muscle mass, metabolism, exercise modality, immune system, etc. So if your watch says you burn a thousand calories, it might be off by 30 to 93 percent. So if you want to make progress, don't solely rely on your wrist numbers, do this instead. Use your tracker for trends, not absolutes. Focus on what you can control, your food intake, your workouts, and your recovery.